I'm going to push it this back. Crime scene's going to be all the way back here behind this boat. With your name and spelling, and tell me who you are. Andra Levalo, A L E J A N D R O. And what happened tonight here in Long Beach with this house fire? Yeah, I was coming from work and there was a big old fire upstairs, and my mom just seen the smoke. She called me out to come outside, and we were trying to investigate what was going on. We went upstairs and we couldn't find no one up there, and we, we didn't even know who was upstairs home. And so I, when I was parking in the garage, I seen the car downstairs, but no one was answering when I was up there screaming if someone was in there. And uh, so were you able to help anybody or just no? We were trying to break the window to get out of all the smoke out, but we didn't hear nobody. Do you live in the apartment complex? Yeah, in the bottom of the... Uh, what can you tell me about the fire alarms and the issues with no fire alarms here? There was no fire alarms. I don't know. If there was fire alarms, I, I think everyone evacuated better. People were sleeping and it just suddenly happened. And what, you got your dog out okay? Yeah, I got my dog out. What's your dog's name? Lucha. And your mom was okay too? Yeah. Do you know anything about the victim that was transported? Yeah, that's my neighbor. I've been knowing her for, I, was, I moved over here like six years ago. My name is Frank Spelling, I'm uh, the division. Uh, Jake Heflin, Long Beach Fire Department, Public Information Officer. Go ahead and spell it for me. H -E, uh, J A K E H E F is in Frank, L I N is in Nancy. And tell me around what time did this occur or what happened here? So this evening at approximately five minutes after midnight, Long Beach Fire Department units were re requested to respond to the thousand block of Stanley Avenue for reports of an apartment fire. Upon the initial arrival of the engine company, they found heavy black smoke pouring out of the uh, third story apartment. And what did they encounter when they got into the uh, apartment? Uh, based on the initial reports uh, and bystanders that were in close proximity, uh, there was reports of two people that were inside of the uh, involved apartment. Uh, the fire department made an aggressive interior attack and access to that apartment and found uh, two victims uh, from the fire. There was one adult female and one child. And both of them were transported and treated? As far as the actual two patients, they were both transported to local area hospitals in critical condition. And is that, is that a child or female as well? That's, a firm, yeah, that's, correct. that's correct. Do you have an age on that child? Uh, approximately four years old uh, for the child. Is there anybody else that uh, will stand injuries around the area, firefighters or neighbors? Uh, there are no firefighters that were injured during this uh, fire attack. Uh, at this point, it appears the only apartment that was impacted is the involved unit uh, on the third floor. Uh, we do have other people that were residents that were at this uh, unit, and they have been, at this point, are in the process of being relocated or, or provided assistance to other additional supportive measures. And this fire is under investigation for arson? Yeah. Uh, actually, the fire is under investigation right now. Cause and origin will be determined. Uh, have you heard of any uh, people uh, deceased at this time? Uh, at this point, uh, the rescues that transported the two patients to the hospital were providing heroic, life-saving efforts. Uh, I can't elaborate uh, as to their condition. At this point, it's an unknown. You'd have to contact the hospital for the information.